You know that warm weather next week, Dylan, that's looking good to you know get out and watch the sky as well. And for the first time in three years, a lunar eclipse will be visible next week. It's on March 14th. The moon will look red. A total eclipse happens when the moon is full and it aligns perfectly with the Earth and the sun. Best part does not require any special eyewear to go out and see right now that long term trend. This will be Friday. So a little bit longer uh, than our seven day forecast, but you know that pattern looking like it might hold in some of the data. Yeah, so it, as we say with a uh, solar eclipse, that's when the, the moon blocks out the sun. Mm -hmm. Now the earth is going to be blocking out the sunlight and casting a shadow on the moon. Yeah. And the best part is, like you said, you don't need anything special to see it. You don't need a telescope. You don't need a glasses. You don't need a box or anything weird. Just go outside and even take photos of it. This really will be easy. better than the planetary alignment because you don't have to put effort into it. <laughs> you can just you can be out there on your balcony and look up and you'll be like, why is the moon doing all this weird stuff? Yeah, the only thing you got to do is stay up late because this will start at 1230 in the morning and sort of peak around one, two o'clock. So, I mean, you're, you're going to be up late to see yeah. it, but it'll be worth it. It's pretty cool. Well, if that's the case, I'll probably miss most of it because I'll be in bed <laughs> at that time. Yeah, you might be getting up when the yeah, eclipse is going up. on. Yeah, I'll be waking up. I wake up probably around 2, 2.30, so. Yeah, there you go.